welcome to the session. My name is Shashi and I am going to help you with the following question. Question says, find the values of k so that the function f is continuous at indicated point. fx is equal to kx plus 1 if x is less than equal to pi. fx is equal to cos x if x is greater than pi. At x is equal to pi. First of all, let us understand that if function f is continuous at x is equal to a, then left hand side limit of the function is equal to right hand side limit of the function is equal to value of the function at x is equal to a. Or we can say limit of x tending to a minus fx is equal to limit of x tending to a plus fx is equal to f a. This is the left hand side limit of the function. This is right hand side limit of the function. And this is the value of the function at x is equal to a. This is the key idea to solve the given question. Let us now start the solution. We are given f x is equal to kx plus 1 if x is less than equal to pi and fx is equal to cos x if x is greater than pi. Also, we are given function f is continuous at x is equal to pi. First of all, let us find out left hand side limit of the function at x is equal to pi. So we can write limit of x tending to i minus fx is equal to limit of x tending to pi minus kx plus 1 which is equal to pi k plus 1. So, we get limit of x tending to pi minus fx is equal to pi k plus 1. Now, let us find out right hand side limit of the function at x is equal to pi. So, we can write limit of x tending to pi plus fx is equal to limit of x tending to pi plus cos x. Now, this is equal to cos pi, which is equal to minus 1. So, we get limit of x tending to pi plus fx is equal to minus 1. We know cos pi is equal to minus 1. So, we get right hand side limit of the function at x is equal to pi as minus 1. Now we know that given function is continuous. So, left hand side limit and right hand side limit of the function at x is equal to pi must be equal. Substituting the corresponding values of the limits, we get pi k plus 1 is equal to minus 1. This implies pi k is equal to minus 1 minus 1. This implies pi k is equal to minus 2. This implies k is equal to minus 2 upon pi. So, required value of k is equal to minus 2 upon 5. This is our required answer. This completes the session. Hope you understood the session. Goodbye.